In the military, there are typically designated security forces to protect installations and other military assets. When it comes to some of military sealift command supply ships, security is the responsibility of the civil service mariners. Hugo Polanco, chief mate and anti-terrorism officer aboard the USNS Leroy Grumman, discusses why they run security drills. The security drill, is these are all required drills that we're uh, supposed to do for our uh, 5530, which is our kind of anti-terrorism instruction. The instruction calls for uh, one drill uh, every quarter. So in our kind of scheme of long-range training plan, that particular drill was the one that was scheduled for that quarter. The internal threat drill was a little unusual for the crew because most of the security drills are executed to repel external threats. Robert Melendez, boatsman mate aboard the Grumman, talks about why this drill was important. It's just something that has to get done. I mean, you never know when you'll end up having something serious like that. I mean, anything could happen on board a ship. You could have a disgruntled crew member, so you just never know. I just, you know, hope something like that we could do a little bit more often, more often than not. Practice makes perfect, and when it comes to protecting the mail, supplies, and equipment the civil service mariners deliver to our service members, the crew of the Grumman, most of whom are former and retired service members, take it very seriously. Melendez expresses his opinion of the readiness of the crew when it comes to defending the ship in a real-life situation. I think everybody would be focused, and I don't think we would have an issue. I, I'm sure we could defend this ship no problem. From the USNS Leroy Grumman, I'm Petty Officer Ryan McLernan.